Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If there is one subject that scares every need busy aspirants, it's definitely medicine. It has the maximum number of questions and it is so vast that if you study from one side, you tend to forget from the other side. It is deeply integrated with other subjects. And honestly, sometimes it feels like medicine is everything. So today I'm going to tell you how to study medicine smartly. What are the mistakes I made and how to avoid it? What are the things you should focus on and how to integrate with other subjects so that it actually sticks in your mind? During your preparation, don't jump directly into medicine. Understand, medicine is not a single subject. It is a blend of patho, pharma, micro and physiology. Your foundation comes from these four subjects. Start with your patho, pharma, micro and physio. I always suggest doing the main notes of these subjects. They form the base of your preparation. You can follow Preeti Mams from Preplader for both pathology and microbiology. She is truly one of the best for concept clarity and concise notes. If you are in your first year or second year MBBS, this is the best time to build your base with Preplader main notes. It provides structured content and faculties are really good. For pharmacology, Complete your main notes if you haven't done in your UGS. It is very volatile subject. To master it, you have to do multiple revision. And for physiology, if your base isn't clear, first complete your main notes, then move to rapid revision. The most effective way to study medicine for your need PG is system-wise approach. So during my final year MBBS, I was clueless from where to study medicine as it is very, very vast. Then I asked my senior, they suggested me Dr. Deepak Marwasar's lecture. Then I took Dr. Deepak Marwasar's preplader lecture. Those lectures really helped me a lot. He does not just list the fact. He connects pathology, physiology, pharmacology and clinical medicine beautifully. And remember, medicine is just not about mugging up. It is about clinical reasoning. This conceptual linking is exactly what helps you to solve this clinical based question. The kind of question need PG now focuses on. You can do system by system and for hematology you can integrate both the, your patho and medicine notes together. With each system focus on the clinical presentation, its diagnosis, investigation of choice, management and drug of choice. Another common mistake which I also did is collecting too many notes as medicine itself is so vast that revising multiple source will really confuse you. I wasted two to three months and at the end I remember nothing. Now you have notes but if you cannot apply it in the MCQs that means knowing nothing. To know how to apply you have to do lots and lots of MCQs. What I used to do I solved per system wise 100 MCQs with time not initially that really helped me to do active recall and to learn how to apply my knowledge to solve MCQs. So to sum up, first of all, build your foundation for your patho, micro, physio, pharmacology. Otherwise, you will never see a jump in your medicine score. Number two, study system wise, one topic at a once. And number three, stick to one faculty and revise multiple times. Number four, connect the dots to build your concept because need pg will not ask you isolated facts if you follow this strategy medicine will not feel like a mountain you will love solving medicine mcqs if you like my video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video till then bye bye